Good afternoon, Inspector. Uh, can you tell me, is my stand driving the number 11 that's due in now? Undoubtedly, Mrs. Butler. That's the one that's ten minutes late. Oh, yes, it would be, because the 345 from Tilbury's Orb was a bit late. The number 11 bus, madam, it doesn't go to Tilbury. It goes to the Semper Gates and back. I know, but Stan's waiting in the station to meet his auntie Maud. What? Yes, she's come to stay with us, and Stan said he'd meet at the station if her train wasn't more than half hour late. Did he? I'll make a note of that. Oh, he's very obliging, my Stan. Yes. I'll see the general manager gets to hear about that. Oh, you're very kind. Not all inspectors are like that, my Stan says. No, no, there's one they call Hitler. Stan says he's a real bastard. <laughs> see. Where's that bus? Is that the one that's coming in now? Yes, that's the one. It'll back in here and back right up there. Why do they always back in? Saves them backing out. Shocking journey. Hello, Auntie. Hello, love. Have you said hello to Stan? No, not yet. Come here, love. <laughs> Have you given Aunt a kiss yet? No, not yet, Mum. I was it. <laughs> Butler! Oh, uh, I'd like a word with you, if I may. Come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is my nephew. I used to bath him. <laughs> there is a time I've had him on me knee and smothered his little bottom with powder. Fascinating, I'm sure. <laughs> Has he still got that little birthmark on his little bottish? I should ask the clippers about that if I were you. <laughs> Beg your pardon, Mrs. Butler. No offence intended, oh. I'm sure. Well, have you got everything, Maud? Yes. Ow. Marcus. Marcus? Marcus. Ma Who's Marcus? Ma Doggy. Didn't I tell you I got a little pet? No, you didn't. He's so nervous riding on the bus. Marcus? Marcus? Come on to Mummy. Come on. He won't come off. Oh, oh, oh Olive, see go and see if you can get him off. Oh, She's yeah. ever so good with little doggies. Yes, come, come on, Marcus. Yes, Marcus. that's right. Come, come on, on. Mum. That's it. Come on. Oh, Who let that creature on the bus? Where's your conductor? Uh, well, he was on when we got left the depot. <laughs> Jack, you were late, right Jack. I am not coming down till that animal's under control. Don't be daft. He won't hurt you. There's nothing wrong with him. Friend. It's all right for you, mate. You're sitting up front. Well, I shall have to make a note of this. Where's your way, Bill? Here. Yeah. The rest of it's inside him. <laughs> To play with, did you? Play with? Look what he's done to me pouch. <laughs> First me way, Bill, then me pouch. He was getting too close for comfort, so I went upstairs. You shouldn't have let him on the bus in the first place. He didn't let him on. He got on. Oh, you never said you had a vicious pet like this. You should have said. He's only a little pet. He's not like this normally. He upset him. He wouldn't let him get on the seat. Because at the time, there happened to be two people sitting on it. <laughs> he went for me, tried to bite me, and I only smiled at him. <laughs> I'm not surprised with your choppers, mate. <laughs> you thought he was going to bite him. <laughs> come on, get that creature off the bus, come on. There's no time to waste now. Come on, Olive, get him off. Get him off, Olive. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
Give him something to get off for. A tomcat to get him off. No! No! Oh, oh. <laughs> Love you, Shout as though you've been doctored. <laughs> Marvellous. Any minute now, he'd be down on all fours digging holes. Twit. That won't get him off. He's afraid of cats. I know what's wrong. It's afraid of him. Afraid of me? Oh, oh no, no. Not the inspector. Yes, he was once kicked by a man with a little black moustache, just like he's got. So he thinks this man's cruel and nasty. Very clever dog. <laughs> now, sir, perhaps if you went and hid, he might get off. Went and hid? Yes. Preposterous. However, if the dog's as daft as all that, I suppose I'd better go and hide. <laughs> oh, there, the minute the inspector's gone, he's all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, See you later, then, Mum, yeah. <laughs> that is marvellous, isn't it? The minute the inspector goes, everybody's all right. <laughs> Good down, you idiots. What are you doing up there? <laughs> oh. It's a good job I had that bit of liver in the cupboard. I don't know what I'd give Marcus. Oh, you know, he's too big a dog to have in the house. Olive, love, go and take him outside. There's a good girl. Oh, I'll put him oh, in the hall. Yes, go and stay. Come yeah, on, put Marcus. him in the hall. That's right, love. Come on. Oh, what a size. Yeah, where's her husband tonight? He's very late. Well, he always is on a Friday night, ain't he? Doesn't get it while past ten. Oh, I think it's terrible them working them so late. No, not really. Eh? Well, if Arthur had been here, the dog wouldn't have had his liver. <laughs> oh, there's your husband now, Olive. Get, hey, get down! Get off, will ya? Leave go! <laughs> Who put that great big brute out here? She did. Well, she might have turned the light on. <coughs> Open the front door. He put his paws right up in my shoulder, started licking my face. I thought it was only gone berserk. <laughs> Give us a kiss. No, Frank, you have had enough of the dog. <laughs> Whose is it? Aunt Maud's. Aunt Maud? Oh, she's arrived, has she? Mm. Where is she? Upstairs unpacking. Oh. Here, yeah, that smells good. My liver, is it? I'll have that now. <laughs> You've had it. Anyway, You've had it, because the dog's had it. <laughs> you give my liver to that dog. Well, we had to give it something, love. Olive, go in the kitchen and get some cheese and pickled onions. Yes, all right. Charming, isn't it? Hey, I was looking forward to that liver. Never even got a taste of it. You must have done when he jumped up and licked you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did that aunt of yours want to bring that great big brute here for anyway? She must be out of her mind, a stupid old bag. Hello, oh, Arthur. That... No, no. <laughs> oh, hello, Aunt Maud. How nice to see you. <laughs> oh, that'll come down with me, Bottle. It's in the kitchen, love. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Hey. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'm mean, first a dog now, her. It's like a Roman orgy. <laughs> Here you are, Arthur. Cheese and pickled onions. There's not much cheese you'll have to fill up with pickled hey, onions. You bring them in for me or yourself. Leave I haven't seen you since the day you and Olive got married. Mm. It doesn't seem like nine years. It does to me, mate. <laughs> Mind you, Olive's put on a bit round the middle. Yeah. I didn't notice it when you got your coat on. Of course, they have been married long enough, haven't they? Mm. Is she, you know? No, she is not. <laughs> She's just greedy. Nine years. <laughs> didn't he have to have an operation? I... Yes, seven years ago. Hasn't done no good. That has got nothing to do with it. Perhaps you should have another operation. <laughs> You don't shut up, mate. You'll need one. Funny Stan hasn't got married, isn't it? Hey? Isn't he courting? Oh, I don't know. He goes out with Jack most nights, his conductor. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, oh? Well, I hope he's not going to turn out like Uncle Herbert. Oh, no, shut up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No. What is about Uncle Herbert? Why shouldn't I turn out well, like Uncle it's Herbert? something we don't talk about, love. Ah, no. come on, come on. No, I want to know. Well, it's very... It's, well, it's just that he was, um... <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right now, cos it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a family I'm married into. Good job we haven't got any children. Oh, they wouldn't be like Stan. They'd be like me. Well, that's a great comfort, isn't it? <laughs> 
I'll go to bed. Uh, will you be all right in Stan's room, love? Oh, yes. It's ever so nice of Stan to give his room up for me. Yeah. I thought that Marcus could sleep outside in the shed. Go and get him, Olive. He oh, right, I can't. What? He'll catch his death. He's ever so delicate. I noticed that the way he dragged me on the bus. <laughs> now, Marcus is used to bedding down on the sofa. Otherwise, he'd be yelling all night long. Now, he'll have to go in the front room. Oh. Look, I'm sleeping on the sofa in the front room. Well, I'm sure you'll both be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. Marcus will have to go on the sofa. Otherwise, we'll all be up all night. Look, aunt, we love having uh, you here, uh, but I'm sorry. I'm not having any Olive, come in with me. Stan, sleep with Arthur. Hey, I am not sleeping with him, but that's fine. <laughs> you're not. I'm not particular about sleeping with you, mate. And the way you're noshing oh. back them pickled onions, boy, I'd rather sleep with a dog anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Get over the other side. Ah, oh, damn it, Charlie. Come on, come on, on. I want to get some sleep. Get over the other side. Go on. I've warmed that side now. Thank you very much. I do not require your heat. <laughs> right. I'll call it off again no, for you. No, don't be so <laughs> <sorry. laughs> <laughs> 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 Blimey, you're all right, aren't you? Hey. I feel like I'm sleeping in a hole. <laughs> yeah, that's where Olive sleeps. <laughs> well, they want to get this mattress fixed. Blimey, I'm surprised you don't get stuck in it. No, thank you very much. I don't want to roll in over my side. <laughs> <clears throat> Uncomfortable, I know that. It's no good, mate. I can't sleep that side. Oh, blimey. Look, mate, I am sleeping here. I have slept this side for nine, nine years and Olive has slept that side for nine years. So there you that sounds like the Berlin Wall. <laughs> I suppose you do meet at times for Checkpoint Charlie. Oh, sure. <laughs> you can either sleep there or find somewhere else to sleep. Oh, right there. <clears throat> oh! Oh! What's the matter? Oh, what have you got in the bottom of this bed? Like a ruddy mousetrap or something? Go on! Go on, look at that! <laughs> Oh. You're likely to find anything down there, mate. I don't think Ollie's ever made her bed. She just pulls her bed clothes up. This side. What's the matter now? Because I always sleep on my right side. What, so? So? I'll never get to sleep looking at your clock, will I? <laughs> Don't be stupid. You won't see me in the dark, will you? Blimey, I'll smell you, know. I... <laughs> You're breathing pickled onions all over me. Go on. Face the other way. All right, then. With Olive, I always sleep facing a door anyway. <laughs> 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 Your toenails! What's wrong with them? I mean, mate, get them, get them like shark's teeth. You're supposed to cut them, not sharpen them. <laughs> I'll sleep with my socks on if you like. I thought you always did. Ah, shut up. Where's the nail scissors? I expect they're at the bottom of the bed with a load of rubber rubbish. God blimey, your breath, mate. <laughs> I'm not having my toenails cut unless you suck a peppermint. <laughs> Well, I can't find a nail scissors anyway. You just keep your feet out of the way, that's all right. Let's have some sleep. Oh, no. Yes! I lost my cup. Oh, <laughs> that is not all you've lost. George, put that stuff on your face. 
Yeah, it's supposed to make me look prettier. It does. You should use it more often. Arthur, why do you let Stan say things like that to me? Because I never think of them first. Oh, no. oh, 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 there they are. How did they get under the bed? I don't know, mate. You must have pushed them out the bottom. If you made the bed a bit more often, you'd find loads of things down here. Oh. Now, come on, let's get some sleep, for goodness sake. <clears throat> Turn the light out. Hey. What? Turn the light out. You put it out. You got in last. Oh, don't be stupid. The light is your side. Olive always switching it off. We'll get Olive in to put it out then. No. <laughs> God blimey, your feet are freezing! Get them all down. <laughs> you always go to bed with all that muck on your face and them curlers in your hair? Yeah. What? In front of Arthur? Yeah, why? Blimey, no wonder I'm not a grandmother. <laughs> oh, Arthur doesn't mind. Oh, I forgot to kiss him goodnight. Oh, <laughs> don't go to him, love. Let him come to you. Men only like what they have to put themselves out for. <laughs> I don't think he'll come. <laughs> no. I know my Arthur. If I don't kiss him goodnight, he won't be able to sleep. <laughs> Get your hand out of it. I'm not Olive. <laughs> Turn over, Arthur. Turn over. Turn, you're snoring. Turn over. <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> Stop snoring. Come on, bloody. Turn over, will you? <laughs> You sound like a stuffed pig! <laughs> I do not snore! You do snore! Blimey, I've never heard anything like it since the silence fell off me bus! <laughs> you should hear you, mate, you go... Is <laughs> <laughs> there to run him well exaggerate? It's not ruddy exaggerating, mate! And then it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, holly, holly, holly. Your hands all over me, mate! Oh, get in big, give me some clothes! Oh, and turn over on your side! <laughs> <laughs> now we're back in the pickled onions now. All right. I'll sleep on my back and you can lump it. And if you don't want to lump it, find someone else to sleep. I will. I'm going to have a kip in the kitchen. All right, good. I'm fed up with it. And don't tell me you've never shared a bed with anyone who snored. I have, but last time it was worthwhile. <laughs> Oh, what is it? I can't sleep. So? Where's Stan gone? He's gone down the kitchen. It's ruddy cold down there. If I know him, he'll be up in a minute. Oh, well, I've got this ache in me, Nick. I want you to rub it with my mint green ointment. Oh. I left the box here somewhere. Blimey, even the fire's gone out. It's freezing cold down here. I suppose I'll have to put up with him. I can't stand this. <laughs> Will you rub it in? No! <laughs> oh, come on, Arthur. I shan't be able to sleep unless you do. No, I'm too tired. <laughs> oh, come on! Blimey, she didn't waste much time. No, not this time of night. Oh, you are rotten. You weren't like this when we were first married. <laughs> oh, all right. Come on, then. <laughs> Just a minute. I'll have to pull the dressing gown down. <laughs> Come on. We'll be up in a minute. Come on.
God, blimey. Once a year and it has to be tonight. Got another turn to do. Yeah, I know that. God, don't be daft, mate. And I've got a stiff neck. God, I was up all night, freezing cold in that flipping chair in the kitchen. God, dear, oh dear. Here, give me that a rub, will you, mate? Oh, oh it's lovely. God, you've got lovely strong fingers, Jack. Yeah, count some count in the coppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, more, more, more. That's lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. God, thank God Art Moore's going today, I tell you that. Oh dear, Edward. I couldn't stay another night out of my bed, you know. How are they getting to the station? By cab. Oh, right. I told them. Never get the dog on the bus. Sure, right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think you two have been working together a bit too long, don't you? <laughs> What's the matter? You want a bit? <laughs> well, you must admit it does look a bit peculiar, doesn't it? Look, mate, I may be doing it to him, but I'm thinking of her. <laughs> Can't we ever let our minds rise to higher things? <laughs> Come on, cut it out. Come on. Get on that bus and get it out. Come on. Try and get it out on time this time, oh, will you? All right, all right. Keep the voice down. Oh, that's great, that is, Jack. I must admit, that's done a lot of good to my neck. Yeah, it? I know. I done it to her once, you know. After the social. Yeah. What happened? Her husband hit me. <laughs> <laughs> wait right, for me, love, wait. Has she gone? Has she gone? Look at Oh, blimey, come on. What's up? Did, oh, the, did the cab come then? Oh, oh yes, oh, the cab came. Oh. Took one look at the dog and went. Oh, Without oh, us. Oh, he was terrible. Oh. He said we should have ordered an horse box. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you doing here anyway? Well, Aunt Maud will have to go to the station on the bus. Not yeah. with that animal. <laughs> it wouldn't be our... Well, Mum, if the expectancy is getting the door, we get our cards. Well, how's she going to get to the station? It's three miles. Oh, put a saddle on the dog and ride it there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she can't do it. She's going to miss her train. Well, let her get another cab and catch another train. Oh, but she can't. There's only one through train a day. Oh, well, there's only one thing for it, love. You'll have to stay another night. Oh, I what? don't mind. I've got your bed clothes no, all nice no, and Mum, Mum, forget what? it, forget it. Aunt, get on the bus, get on the bus. Get the dog. It's all right for you, mate. Sitting up there out of arm's way, I am not having that dog nibbling at my pouch. Yeah, it's only till we get into the station, mate. I am not mate. having it. Look, my, my stiff neck. I think am my, not, not having it. That's final. That's final. It only leaves one thing for me to do then, doesn't it? 